for it was formed by his hands. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not harden your hearts as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Meribah and Massah, they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, they are a people whose hearts go astray and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Come, let us sing to the Lord, and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Young lions roar for their prey, 
and as their food from God. At the rising of the sun they steal away, and go to rest in their dens. Man goes forth to his work, to labor till evening falls. How many are your works, O Lord? In wisdom you have made them all. The earth is full of your riches. There is the sea vast and wide, with its moving swarms past counting, living things great and small. The ships are moving there, and the monsters you made to play with. All of these look to you to give them their food in due season. You give it, they gather it up. You open your hand, they have their fill. You hide your face, they are dismayed. You take back your spirit, they die, returning to the dust from which they came. You send forth your spirit, they are created. And you renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord last forever. May the Lord rejoice in his words. He looks on the earth and it trembles. <clears throat> the mountains send forth smoke at his touch. I will sing to the Lord all my life. Make music to my God while I live. May my thoughts be pleasing to him. I find my joy in the Lord. Let sinners vanish from the earth, and the wicked exist no more. Bless the Lord, my soul. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. You send forth your Spirit and renew the face of the earth. From the book of the prophet Jeremiah. King Zedekiah ordered that Jeremiah be confined in the quarters of the guard and given a loaf of bread each day from the baker's shop until all the bread in the city was eaten up. Thus Jeremiah remained in the quarters of the guard. Once King Zedekiah summoned the prophet Jeremiah to come to him at the third entrance to the house of the Lord. I have a question to ask you, the king said to Jeremiah. Hide nothing from me. Jeremiah answered Zedekiah, If I tell you anything, you will have me killed, will you not? If I counsel you, you will not listen to me. But King Zedekiah swore to Jeremiah secretly, As the Lord lives, who gave us the breath of life, I will not kill you nor will I hand you over to these men who seek your life. Thereupon Jeremiah said to Zedekiah, Thus says the Lord God of hosts, the God of Israel, If you surrender to the princes of Babylon's king, you shall save your life. This city shall not be destroyed with fire, and you and your family shall live. But if you do not surrender to the princes of Babylon's king, this city will fall into the hands of the Chaldeans, who shall destroy it with fire, and you shall not escape their hands. King Zedekiah, however, said to Jeremiah, I am afraid of the men of Judah who have deserted to the Chaldeans. I may be handed over to them, and they will mistreat me. You will not be handed over, Jeremiah answered. Please obey the voice of the Lord and do as I tell you, then it shall go well with you and your life will be spared. But if you refuse to surrender, this is what the Lord shows me. All the women left in the house of Judah's king shall be brought out to the princes of Babylon's king, 
and they shall taunt you thus. They betrayed you, outdid you, your good friends. Now that your feet are stuck in the mud, they slink away. All your wives and sons shall be led forth to the Chaldeans, and you shall not escape their hands. You shall be handed over to the king of Babylon, and this city shall be destroyed with fire. Then Zedekiah said to Jeremiah, Let no one know about this conversation, or you shall die. If the princes hear I spoke to you, if they come and ask you, tell us what you said to the king. Do not hide it from us, or we owe it, or we will kill you. For what did the king say to you? Give them this answer. I petitioned the king not to send me back to Jonathan's house to die there. When all the princes came to Jeremiah, they questioned him, and he answered them in the very words the king had commanded. They said no more to him, for nothing had been heard of the earlier conversation. Thus Jeremiah stayed in the quarters of the guard till the day Jerusalem was taken. <clears throat> From a sermon on the Beatitudes by St. Leo the Great Pope. The Lord then goes on to say, Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be filled. This hunger is not for any bodily food. This thirst is not for any earthly drink. It is longing to be blessed with righteousness, and by penetrating the secret of all mysteries, to be filled with the Lord himself. Happy is the soul that longs for the food of righteousness and thirsts for this kind of drink. It would not seek such things if it had not already savored their, del their delight. When the soul hears the voice of the Spirit saying to it through the prophet, Taste and see that the Lord is good, it has already received a portion of God's goodness and is on fire with love the love that gives joy of the utmost purity. It counts as nothing all that belongs to time. It is entirely consumed with desire to eat and drink the food of righteousness. The soul lays hold of the true meaning of the first and great commandment. You shall love the Lord God with your whole heart and with whole mind and your whole strength. For to love God is nothing else than to love righteousness. Finally, just as concern for one's neighbor is added to love of God, so the virtue of mercy is added to the desire for righteousness. As it is said, Blessed are the merciful, for God will be merciful to them. Remember, Christian, the surpassing worth of the wisdom that is yours. Bear in mind the kind of school in which you are to learn your skills the rewards to which you are called. Mercy itself wishes you to be merciful. Righteousness itself wishes you to be righteous, so that the Creator may shine forth in His creature, and the image of God to be reflected in the mirror of the human heart as it imitates His qualities. The faith of those who live their faith is a Syrian faith. What you long for will be given you. What you love will be yours forever. Since it is by giving alms that everything is pure for you, you will also receive that blessing which is promised next by the Lord. Blessed are the pure of heart, for they shall see God. Dear friends, great is the happiness of those for whom such a reward is prepared. Who are the clean of heart if not those who strive for those virtues we have mentioned above? What mind can conceive, what words can express the great happiness of seeing God? Yet human nature will achieve this when it has been transformed so that it sees the Godhead no longer in mirror or obscurely, but face to face, the Godhead that no man has been able to see. In the inexpressible joy of this eternal vision, human nature will possess what eye has not seen or ear heard 
what man's heart has never conceived. will appear to save those who are eagerly waiting for him. O Lord, have pity on us, for you we wait. Be our strength every morning, our salvation in time of trouble. At the roaring sound, people sleep. When you rise in your majesty, nations are scattered. Men gather spoil as caterpillars are gathered up. They rush upon it like the onrush of locusts. The Lord is exalted and enthroned on high. He fills Zion with right and justice. That which makes her seasons lasting. The riches that save her are wisdom and knowledge. The fear of the Lord is her treasure. See that the men of Ariel cry out in the streets. The messengers of Shalem weep for the need. The highways are desolate. Travelers have quit the paths. Covenants are broken and their curses are spread. Yet no man gives it a thought. The country languishes in mourning, Lebanon withers with shame. Sharon is like the staff, Bashan and Carmel are stripped in. <clears throat> now will I rise up, says the Lord, now will I be exalted, now I'll be lifted up. Glory to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Christ will appear to save those who are eagerly waiting for Him. The bread which I shall give for the life of the world is my flesh. Hear you who are far off what I have done. You who are near acknowledge my mind. Most silent sinners are in dread, trembling grips the impudence. Who of us can live with the consuming fire? Who of us can live with the everlasting flames? He who practices virtue and speaks honestly, who spurs what is gained by oppression, brushing his hands free of contact with a bride, stopping his ears lest he hear a bloodshed, closing his eyes lest he look on evil, he shall dwell on the hearts, his stronghold shall be the rocky fastness. His food and drink in steady supply. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. The bread which I shall give for the life of the world is my flesh. May you know what are the riches of his glorious inheritance. Come 
Come to our aid, O God of the universe, and put all the nations in dread of you. Raise your hand against the heathen, that he may realize your power. As you have used us to show them your holiness, so now use them to show us your glory. That they may know as we know that there is no God but you. Give new signs and work new wonders. Show forth the splendor of your right hand and arm. Rouse your anger for our breath. Humble the enemies, scatter the foe. Hasten the day, bring on the time. Crush the heads of the hostile rulers. Let raging fire consume the fugitive. <clears throat> and your people's oppressors need destruction. Gather all the tribes of Jacob, that they may inherit the land as of old. Show mercy to the people called by your name, Israel, whom you named your firstborn. Take pity on your holy city, Jerusalem, your dwelling place. Fill Zion with your majesty, your temple with your glory. Glory to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. May you know what are the riches of His glorious inheritance. The Lord be with you. Spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. On the evening of that first day of the week, even though the disciples had locked the doors of the place where they were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood before them. Peace be with you, he said. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. At the sight of the Lord, the disciples rejoiced. Peace be with you, he said again. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. Then he breathed on them and said, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive man's sins, they are forgiven them. If you hold them bound, they are bound. It happened that one of the twelve, Thomas, the name means twin, was absent when Jesus came. The other disciples kept telling him, We have seen the Lord. His answer was, I'll never believe it without probing the nail prints in his hands, without putting my finger into the nail marks and my hand into his side. A week later, the disciples were once more in the room, and this time Thomas was with them. Despite the locked doors, Jesus came and stood before them. Peace be with you, he said. Then to Thomas, take your finger and examine my hands. Put your hand into my side. Do not persist in your unbelief, but believe. Thomas said in response, My Lord and my God. Jesus then said to him, You became a believer because you saw me. Blessed are they who have not seen and have believed. Jesus performed many other signs as well, signs not recorded here in the presence of his disciples. But these have been recorded to help you believe that Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God, so that through this faith you may have life in his name. Sing endlessly. 
endless praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. The glorious company of apostles praise you. The noble fellowship of prophets praise you. The white-robed army of martyrs praise you. Throughout the world, the Holy Church acclaims you. Father of majesty unbounded, your true and only Son, worthy of all worship, and the Holy Spirit, Advocate and Guide. You, Christ, are the King of glory, the eternal Son of the Father. When you became man to set us free, you did not spurn the virgin's womb. You overcame the sting of death, and opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You are seated at God's right hand in glory. We believe that you will come and be our judge. <clears throat> come then, Lord, and help your people, bought with the price of your own blood, and bring us with your saints to the glory everlasting. Save your people, O Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day we bless you. We praise your name forever. Keep us today, Lord, from all sin. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy, for we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope, and we shall never hope in vain. Let us pray. God, our Father, you redeem us and make us your, your children in Christ. Look upon us, give us your freedom, and bring us to the inheritance you promise. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us praise the Lord and give him thanks. May the divine assistance be always with us and also with our brothers and sisters.